In this Fleeky review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this AI. Fleeky AI converts your blog articles or any text-based content into video, podcasts, or audiobooks with voiceovers in a few clicks. Once we enter into Fleeky, we are greeted by the following message. Hello Daniel, welcome to Fleeky. I'm Sarah. Nice meeting you. Now if we click the play button, we can actually play that as audio. Hello Daniel, welcome to Fleeky. Next to the play button, we do have a little menu where we have the option to change your voice, duplicate, upload our own audio file, or download. Let's just see what happens if we change the voice. So on the voice selection menu, we have a wide array of different voices. We can obviously set the language. We can select the dialect. So we could go United Kingdom. We can set the gender, and we can also set the voice style. There's loads of options here. Angry, cheerful, excited, friendly and so on. Some of the voices are actually children as well. Obviously in this box here, we can set our own custom message. So once you type a custom message into there, if you highlight it, you also have a few more options there. From emphasize, where you can select strong, moderate, reduced, or none. We also have the tune option, where we can change the rate, pitch, volume, or clear. We can also add a pause, or change the pronunciation. Let's just listen to this. I've also changed the voice to Brian. My name is Daniel and this is my review. If we click on the plus button there, that will bring up another box where we can put more text. We do have the options to move this one up to the top, change the voice for this particular section, duplicate, upload audio file, and download. In the top right corner, we do have the option for background music. If we click onto there, we can actually upload our own music file. Next to background music is pronunciation map. Then we can manage the pronunciation of certain words. This will work well for obviously names and acronyms. Below scripts, we have the video section. If we just click onto there. So obviously at the moment, this folder is empty, but we can create a new folder, a new video, and they do have a tutorial to help us with that. If we go ahead and click on new folder, you can obviously set the name of your custom folder, click create, and now we have a set folder for our videos. If we go ahead and go to new video, we can first enter the title for our video, and then we can select the size. So we can choose from either square, which is for social medias like Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn post, Portrait, that'll be for like Reels, so Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook Stories, or Landscape, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn posts. I'm going to go for Square. We then have the option to enable a fade effect between sections and add subtitles within the video. I'm going to tick that. You can then choose your font size. I'm going to go for Large. On the right hand side, it shows a preview as well. I'm going to put it at the bottom, and then you can also select a font. Then if you go ahead and click Save, and now we can start writing for our video. Once you've entered your writing, if we click onto image, we can select an image or we can upload our own. I'm just gonna go ahead and select one. We then of course have those same options where we can change the voice, change image video, duplicate, upload audio file, or download. I'm gonna go ahead and change the voice. And then once you click on the add new section, we can add more text and another image or video. Once we've put in our text and we're happy with our video, we have the option to preview, export, or if we click on more, we can edit video, edit the pronunciation, or change the background music. I'm gonna go ahead and go on preview. This will just generate a low resolution preview. And now we can view our video. Hello, my name is Daniel. And this is my fleeky review. And there we have it. To download the high resolution version, you would obviously just go on export. If we go down from videos to podcasts, again, this section at the moment is obviously empty, but if we just go ahead and go to new show, we can enter our podcast title, add a short description and select a category. You also have the option of picking a cover image and then you can obviously tick or untick published. I'm gonna tick that and then if we save. So now we've created our show, we can create a new episode. Enter in your episode title, pick a cover image, and you can also tick if it had explicit content. Click on save, and again, we can start writing. We have the same options in the menu there, and also the add new section button. Once you've put in your text, you can click the play audio button. And don't forget, we do have these options here. For example, tune, add pause, and pronounce. If I just wanted to change the tune of that, 
can click on there. Let's say I want to change the rate so it goes a little bit slower. Hello, I'm Daniel and welcome to my podcast. And we can see it's a lot slower there. If I also wanted to add some background music, I could just go and choose music file. Now you do have the option of uploading your own or you can choose from a stock library. So if I just go for this one and then once we click play at the bottom, we can hear that there'll be background music behind it. Hello, I'm Daniel and welcome to my podcast. And there we go. Finally, below podcasts, we have audiobooks. So if we click onto there, we first need to create a new book, enter a title, the author, the description, and pick your cover image. Once you're happy, press save. Then we'll go on new chapter and start writing. As always, we have those same menu options there and the option to add a section. And if we highlight the text, we get the option for tune, add pause and pronunciation. So say if I wanted to add a pause in between my and book, I could just highlight that selection there, click on add pause, and then I can enter the pause time in seconds. And then if we play it, welcome to my book. There we go. We do have the options at the top there to edit chapter, where we can enter our chapter name, add background music, and change the pronunciation. Once we go back into these sections, we will see what we've created will appear here. So in scripts, we've got our first script, videos, we've got our folder with our video in there, podcasts, we've got our Daniel's reviews and audiobook. So what did I think of Fleeky AI? I thought it was fantastic. It was very simple to use and it had a massive selection of voices where you could actually select the language and the dialect. I really like how you could also customize the speed and the pitch. Another great feature was the ability to add music in the background. That was also really cool. I would definitely recommend Fleeky and I could see it being used a lot in the future for sure. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.